Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another P.O. Box video. We have a package here today that has arrived. Um, I believe it was actually from a military P.O. Box to my P.O. Box. So I'm kind of curious. But here we go. Let's get right into it. Thank you so much, anybody and everybody that has ever sent anything to my P.O. Box. And keep in mind that anyone... I have people ask me all the time through emails and messages on Instagram and all kinds of stuff like, hey... I've got blah, 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 blah. Is it okay if I send it to you? Everyone has permission to send whatever your heart desires um, to me. So anytime, in any, anytime you want, you can, you can always send something to me. And uh, the P.O. Box information is in the description. All right. So let's see what we got here. Last one I'll be sending from Korea. Wait, what? Which way do I read this first? Oh, don't read backside on cam. Might have to do some post editing. Okay, last one I'll be sending from Korea. Inside this package, plain soju. Oh, this is that, uh, this is that stuff. Grape, grapefruit, blueberry, uh, some $10 rice liquor that looked neat. I don't know if you put the price on there because that's cheap or expensive. I'm guessing that's cheap. I mean, any $10 bottle of liquor is not, well, no, maybe not. If it's a single bottle, like if it's a 12 ounce bottle, oh my God, this is full of liquor. This is awesome. All right. Most people mix plain soju. I hope I'm saying that right. Soju with beer or literally everything. I've never drank most of this stuff. I just drink whiskey. Enjoy. That's mainly what I drink too. I, I, I mainly drink whiskey. So there is his list that he plain soju, grape soju, grapefruit soju, blackberry, um, and some $10 rice liquor. So like I said, I don't know if that's expensive or cheap. If it's just a little 12 ounce bottle that I guess that would be pretty expensive. Um, yeah, so, all right. So we got a box full of liquor here. This is a first for the PO box. Actually, I have gotten liquor before, uh, but it didn't go to my PO box. It just came straight to my house. That was from Joel, if you guys remember. He sent me a bottle of Dimple Pinch uh, for crew Christmas way back in the day. And the story behind Dimple Pinch is it is the whiskey that uh, Walt Whitman drank in the final scene. I think there's actually two episodes where you see him drink it, but he drinks it in the finale of uh, Breaking Bad, one of my favorite shows of all time. So this looks like the green grape soju. So he said that you mix this with beer. It is 13%, so that's a little bit, you know, more than an American beer, obviously. So, um, but... I'm definitely going to try it straight. Um, send me some cigars. Or is that just some wrapping? That's just some. That's just the magazine. What else we got in here? I am so excited about this. Thank you so much, my dude. I appreciate this. All right. We got some. Uh, this must be the rice liquor. The $10 rice liquor. World's number one spirit, 17.2% alcohol. Very nice. Okay. I'm kind of, uh, so I've had, I'm kind of scared of this stuff. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I've had sake, 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 however you want to say it. I've been to like a nice sake bar before and uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty interesting just to be able to try everything, to be honest. Um, let's see what we got here. another bottle. Imagine that. All right, here is the grapefruit. Now, I don't mind grapefruit flavored stuff usually, but uh, I don't know about you guys. I think grapefruit is disgusting. But that's, that, that, I don't, they make the, uh, they make the label nice and inviting and tasty looking. All right, more booze. Let's get right into it. Oh, what is this? What in the, okay, maybe this is the Oh my god, this bottle is amazing. I'm definitely keeping this after I consume... Okay, come on, there we go. Uh, Hoeyo, the rediscovered pure taste of Korean distilled spirits with a 700 year tradition. 41 degrees, it says down here? Is that like the temperature you're supposed to serve it at, or...? I do not know. Oh, 41% alcohol. I, this is probably what he was talking about. The $10 bottle. Is that like, does the bottle have a blister or is that part of the design? This is amazing though. I love that little bottle. That is really cool. I'll make sure I keep that. 
Looks like we've got one more bottle here. Let me make sure. Yep, I believe that's it. One more bottle. Here we go. Maybe that one, I'm stupid. He said on the note that there was one that was plain and the bottles are all the same, so that one was the plain one. And then here we have Le Blueberry. Good day. Good day, Blueberry. So very cool. I appreciate that very much, good sir. So we've got our $10 rice liquor and then um, our various different flavors. Well, we've got the plain, the grape, plain, grape, uh, grapefruit, and blueberry. Very nice. Thank you so much. I appreciate uh, the liquor. I think that's the first time I've ever gotten liquor at my P.O. box, but it is much appreciated. Uh, real quick, guys, I think I'm going to show you guys a little bit of an office update. I've got a little bit of an issue. You guys want to see the issue? There it is. My shelves are overflowing with crap. I come home with so much stuff. Every time I go on a trip, they send me home with awesome swag. And it's not that it's not appreciated, but it's just piling up. And then I've got my personal stuff mixed in, like my SNES cartridge collection there. And uh, I've got some of my knives left over from uh, all the knife videos that I've done. You guys have seen. I'm starting to realize that like the best swag that I have and the most swag that I have for a single video game is Sea of Thieves, as weird as that is. Uh, that came quite a while ago. Um, I actually just got back from a trip. Look how dusty it is up here too. I just need to go through all these shelves and clean. Um, there's just a pile of posters and Mentos there. It's just, this is what happens to my office when you just acquire so much stuff. I get packages all the time. But anyways, I just got back from Seattle. Uh, I got this little Sea of Thieves wooden thing and that little Sea of Thieves wooden thing down there. There should be a video already up on the channel um, that you guys can go watch if you want to see exactly what those are. They're pretty freaking cool. Um, this is just ridiculous. Like, I've got... Right here is one of those like Soldier Boy consoles. This was actually before the Soldier Boy console thing happened. Um, I ordered that because I saw it on one of those bullshit apps that was like, you know, it, it was like, I think it showed a PlayStation controller playing Mario 64 or something like that. And I was like, that's funny. So I bought it for like 20 bucks and I was just gonna do a review of how shitty it was and everything. And it's just been sitting there and I haven't had time to do it. Um, I got a, a, a package from Zippo here. I got a Fallout 4 helmet that's just chilling. Um, it, it's just, under here is actually a, a, a brand integration that got sent to me. Like they sent me the product and then never followed up on what I'm supposed to do to promote it. So I'm just like, well, I don't know what to do with that now. Um, and as you see, it's just all piling up. And then over here, um, I've actually got an eBay package. There's like, that's another video that I, I've been meaning to do, and I just haven't had time. Uh, and then right here, I've got a new shelf that I put together. Because if you guys have been watching the videos lately, the garage sale picking, the pawn shop picking, not pawn shops, no, uh, thrift stores, um, garage sales, all that stuff that I've been rummaging through, trying to find cheap games. Um, you know, it's, it's crazy. Sometimes you'll find a game, uh, like the other day I was at a, ga uh, I was at a garage sale. I found a copy of, uh, Smash Brothers was worth, uh, 40 bucks and I got it for 50 cents at a garage sale, you know? So my eBay store is, is pretty, is pretty, it's pretty pimped out, man. There's a lot of stuff. And this is just a shelf that I literally bought just to hold all of the, like, look at all these NES games and SNES game. Like there's a boxed copy of Mario Kart. I think I'm actually going to take that listing down because I want to keep that for my own collection. Um, and just like NES or uh, SNES, oh, Jesus Lord, GBA games and DS games. And there's just so much, man. There's so much. There's an Atari up here. Two Ataris. Actually, I think we have three. It, it, it's getting ridiculous. Um, and my office is just, it's just full, man. Look, look at this. Look at that controller right there. Yeah, you guys like that? It's pretty cool stuff. Um, yeah, so the eBay store is linked. I, I always get a lot of questions when I show this kind of stuff. A lot of people didn't know I was doing it. Uh, if you want to check out the eBay store, it will be linked in the description. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a status update on, um, the whole office situation. It's just, it's just getting a little, it's getting a little crazy. 
You know what I'm saying? I think I'm actually going to move the mini fridge over there. You guys see uh, the spinny wheel for the streams it's sitting on top of a little white table. I think I'm actually going to move the mini fridge over there below that window. That way I don't have to move whenever I'm streaming and I need a drink, which sounds really awesome. And then I'm going to put another black shelf here. Same as all these. These shelves are really cheap on Amazon, so it's awesome. So I'll just get another one, put it there, and then hopefully I can get all this stuff off the floor, and I'll just organize everything. Like, I literally probably have enough stuff for an entire shelf full of Sea of Thieves stuff now, so I'll put all the Sea of Thieves stuff on one shelf, dust everything as I'm going, and yeah, that's that's basically how it goes. I've, I've given you guys a tour of this stuff before, haven't I? Like, I've got... Look, I got Ramathorn uh, pop down there. Some of this stuff's new, though. You guys probably haven't seen some of this stuff. Um, I was, like, the guy that was like, oh, I'll never get pop figures, and now I'm starting to end up with a bunch of pop figures. Like, got the Demogorgon and Mike down there. Han Solo, I think that came in a loot crate or something. Gus Fring uh, from Breaking Bad. Over there we got Farva. I think I got the whole set of the Super Troopers um, pops. And as you guys should know, I think they were in my previous video, uh, that Gears of War pop final, The Locust, is actually signed by Cliff, Blazin Cliff Blazinski, and The Sweet Tooth right next to it is signed uh, by Scott Jaffe. So, And then I've got like all my Mario uh, Hot Wheels and everything, which I just thought was cool because I played with Hot Wheels. Everybody, every boy played with Hot Wheels growing up. And then obviously Mario is like one of my favorite gaming franchises of all time, so I've got like... Hot Wheels Mario cars, and then I've got Hot Wheels Halo car. I'm I'm a, I'm turning into a bit of a nerd collector as I get older. Um, anyways, look at look at my boxed uh, copy of Lion King on SNES. No big deal. I'm a pretty big deal. I know. But anyways, yeah. So PO box. I only had one package, so I figured why not give you guys a little bit of a office update. That's what's going on. I love you guys. I'll get these other videos. That video. In that video, I'll get those things filmed for you guys in the near future. I promise. I'm gonna try my best to get her done. It's getting to be summer. Lots going on. Anyways, I'm just rambling now. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.